Hoody Hoody. Ready to take Ralphie again. Now I'm going to strip down this. Just received this one today. And last video works fine. So it really is in that exceptional condition. 995, so that's yeah. 20 odd years ago. 27 years since maybe. And yeah. Let's strip it. Let's get this thing to pieces. Right, it looks quite obvious. I'm gonna take the battery pack off to start with. Well, the battery cover. Looks like it's stopped in there with a um yeah, a washer on there, so that stops it falling off. So let's just see. This might be a lot easier than uh, less technical than the Merlins, to be honest. Because all they were was a circuit board, a few chips, resistors, diode or two. It's really weird how um, basic they actually were. But it was obviously something to do with the programming. I don't do computer programming. I just admire the technology, to be honest. Let's take them off, because I'm about to scratch this, aren't I? I think I already have. Yeah, there's that. Let's get a better screwdriver. Anyway, the uh, Merlin, the 10th quest, is the third in the line of Merlin games. Who knows if they're going to make another one? I don't think they will. Maybe Parker Brothers. It basically had nine games, like we showed in the last video. All stuff kind of um, nice. Shining Armour, Camelot sort of related things and then we're straight into the um, well, cause the Merlin name as the um, King Arthur's yeah, wizard or whatever it were and the first ones, we never actually saw anything to do with Merlin just a name Merlin, there was a program on the telly called Merlin which was the guy who did Knight Rider's voice kits who did the um, I think it was Mr. Merlin. I think it was. It was a modern day wizard. Which was quite good for the um, 70s, I think. But, right, let's have a look inside here. Ah, we'll open it that way, shall we? Okay. So, what have we got here then? Speaker with a better foam padding on it. Looks like cardboard for some reason. Paper. A few screws holding in the. There's two circuit boards there, the green one and the brown one. I'm guessing that's just a touch screen, touch buttons behind there, so I don't really need to take that off. And to be honest, I don't take any of this off. But I just think why not? The better. Look at that, hot's not. Yay! Old fashioned hot's not. Right, here we go. you doing with your um, your weekends it's time of this recording I think I'll probably post this this afternoon or something there was the um, there's the London Expo quite jealous some of you guys going to the Expo to be honest can't make it down there myself In London's not from Sheffield it's, it's only two hours on train two and a quarter hours or something but I didn't know about it in time, so I didn't get a ticket. So I didn't really bother. No screw there? Oh no. I am going to the Blackpool Expo in October, is it? I think. So that should be fun. Get to meet a lot of a lot of people. I've only um, seen seen in um, Discord channels or on YouTube. There's a lot of screws here holding this board down for no reason. Ouch. Okay. No more in there. Is there? Oh bloody hell! There is. Can only go wrong. Let's 
It's nice like the screen on there. Where's the chip? Right. There's a screen. Chip can't be on here because it's just not. Is it? I don't know. I'll screw there. Oh no. Screw, different screw. Yeah, that's it to pieces. I don't want to take that off actually because I don't think it's really worth it. But there's no actual match. Ah, there is. Behind here, behind a screen, right there. There's the chip. So it's obviously shrunk down quite a lot over the over the decades they've been having these handheld games around. Yeah. So that bit. Oh, Ralph. That bit screws to there, doesn't need to come off. Oh shoot. So I could have just left that bit on because I left the plastic basil on. Get back. Let me just pause this and get put that cover back on. Because it looks I'm I'm not happy with it being as it is, but in the cover on it gets everything covered over. So do one second, jump cut. Oh, there we go, that's back on, I still screw there and there, and I'm just cut myself again, but hey ho, that just keeps opening up from another video. Um, yeah, there's not much to this, it's obviously shrunk down technology a bit more, chip being there, a few resistors, perfectly fine, a jumper kit, jumper wire there, 765, 4, 3, 15, 11, what? That'll be something on the other side, won't there? How do I keep bleeding all the time? Hmm. Yeah, for the for the tech on it, for the voice system on it, and the and, the, um, and everything else, the, the screen, it's it's quite. There's nothing there, is there? There's absolutely nothing on this. So, with that in mind, let's just put this back together again, shall we? You got more tech on a Raspberry Pi, to be honest. Something more funky like that. And I don't own a Raspberry Pi. If anyone wants to give me one, fine. A Raspberry Pi, that is. I think I've gone wrong. There's a sponge like washer behind it. That seems to have come through it, and that one doesn't seem to go through. I always feel a job is always done good when I start bleeding. Every, with everything, DIY, stuff in the home, anything and everything. If I cut myself, you know, I've done a really good job. And if I don't cut myself, guaranteed, always something gone wrong. No fail so far. Oh, that screw behind there is a right pain in the bum. So we this one to start with. And I've left some of my blood down there as well, bloody. See, these aren't magnetic screwdrivers, I just need them to get in place. Let me just jump cut again. Right, done. Screw in, happy. I had to unsold the entire board and take out the chip to get it done. I'm joking. Or am I? Mm. But yeah, everything's done. Everything doesn't need to be... Um, Fast with the tool. There's a little bit of strain I've done on that now, but I'm going to leave this. This battery cables are a bit stiff for some reason. Better. And it goes. Down. Fits right, quite tight, really. Six screws back in. Ta tum ta tum. Screwing on a Saturday morning. Sorry, do apologise. Screwing on a Saturday night time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not bad. It's a good progression looking at these three. I mean, there's a, the split second was in the same vein, the same lot as this. These electronic games, which were made by the same person. Just mainly just a, a, 
a reaction sort of game, I think it is. Master Merlin, evolution of the original Merlin. This is the evolution of those, those two. But it's it's seen how things went from the 80s to the 90s in, in technology. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. I mean, I don't expect any uh, we'll ever see anything like this ever again being made. I mean, stuff like this go for a, it's it's collectors' items. These people either want them or they don't. And I've just covered that in crap from the um, yeah from the cutting map. That'll be all right. Like I said, we'll never see them again because it's just not the technology. Everything's apps. Everything's touch screen. Everything's iPad, everything's just, it's beyond what this stuff can do, but it's so, it is portable, it's smaller than the um, the other ones, but let me do a size comparison for the end of this, and I'll get all, all the other three out, and we'll, um, we'll see what's, yeah, you'll see the progression. I'll put all four of these in line down the bottom of here on this number seven line across here. We're pretty much on on size wise one above, maybe a little bit up there. But you can see the tenth quest one is, is slightly smaller. But you can see the progression. 80, 82, possibly 80, 95. I mean it's, it's a, they're amazing handhelds that you will never play again. And that's a shame because these are really fun to play. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to the guys who originally made these. Thanks to those people who've kept these, sent them to me. Well, on eBay anyway. So, yeah. And thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I'll um, please like and subscribe. I'm on Patreon if you'd like to donate and help me look for stuff um, get some get some more of this sort of stuff I'm on discord if you want to ch check me out I'm either in the um, oh the retro man cave channel or the back office show channel I'm also on Twitter and I'm now also on Facebook just search retro tech Ralph on either any of those platforms and I'll send you a message back but thanks for watching Bye-bye.